Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, in 2005, the former Premier said that the government's response to the Wabamum spill was poor because no one could have thought we would have a disaster. Now the Minister of the Environment is stating that there's no need to take advantage of information on environmental performance of companies working in Alberta, information that could alert us to keep a closer watch on some companies with poor records elsewhere. So to the Minister of the Environment, why wouldn't the government want to have all possible information on a company desiring to do business in Alberta, especially on their environmental performance? The Honourable Minister. Oh, Mr. Speaker. I made the statement yesterday, and I stand by it today, that we have a rigorous regulatory regime in this province. We expect all companies that operate in this province to stand up to uh, the, the rigor that we would, would put them under. And, and frankly, Mr. Speaker, uh, while it might be, it might be interesting to, uh, to the opposition uh, to, uh, to see what their environmental record is elsewhere, uh, it, it doesn't compare because we don't know what the, what the regulatory regime is elsewhere. The Honourable Member. Oh, Mr. Speaker, back to the same Minister. How can the Minister claim that a company's environmental record elsewhere, that he's not, it's not interesting or it's irrelevant, when the company has just spilled 28,000 barrels of oil into a wetland here, and that company was recently fined over $3 million by the U.S. government as a result of 10 leaks over the past several years? The Honourable Minister. Well, well, Mr. Speaker, I might, su I might suggest, I might suggest that, uh, that, the, that the question might be better directed to the Minister responsible for the ERCB because they are the, the regulatory authority that is responsible. But the fact of the matter is, Mr. Speaker, that, that we have a rigid uh, re regulatory regime in this province that requires ongoing inspection and maintenance of pipelines. And our, and our record, I think, reflects that... Uh, that, that we have a, a very enviable record when it comes to ensuring that we do not have incidents such as the one that we please. had last week. Well, Mr. Speaker, back to the same minister. Given that this government will not learn from the experiences of others, will it, at the very least, implement the recommendations from this government's own review of our environmental and emergency response capacity following the last of our own environmental disasters at the Wabamum spill? The Honourable Minister. Well, Mr. Speaker, let's, uh, let's look at the facts. The Wobberman spill that she refers to uh, was it admittedly not reacted to as quickly as it could have been or should have been. As a result, there was an entirely new division that was instituted in Alberta Environment, the ASSERT program. That program stepped up to the plate, did the job, and in this particular case, it's because we had the, uh, the capability to, to, to get on to the, uh, to the incident immediately that we were able to contain it within a small area, and we are now rapidly cleaning the mess up.